Greetings, entities and guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kick and Run Oven Break. Where, uh, before I start this video, I have some bad news for you. Uh, I lost. I'm not even. I, I went in here. I was like, oh, maybe I got to the next round. I think I did a little preview video for it, but like, uh, and by that I mean like I did a little video, like recording my reaction if I did make it. I want you to know, prior, I actually made it to like fourth place, which meant I would have been like alive by one heart. And somehow I got pushed down to 7th. So, that's that for Grand Champions League. Uh, I'm not this- I'm not mad. I feel like I could have just gone a bit further, but the th problem is, it's just the Legendary Kickies, man. Like, once you get a Legendary Kickie and they're not maxed out, that's like, that's that. You have to use your max boost tickets, and you gotta make sure everything's perfect. Which, I got as, like, a good of enough, like, run as I could. But that still wasn't enough, so I'm just gonna focus on doing other things. The things that will actually make me happy. Which, that includes hard mode. Which, I gotta go ahead and run to hard mode a bunch. With uh, I gotta do this with four core cookies. It's Black Cherry Cookie, uh, Pepperoncino Cookie, Elite Cookie, and I'm pretty sure Dark Choco, right? Yeah, Dark Choco. So, here's the weird thing. I do have to run with them, but this is not the best comedy that you can run with. The best comedy that you can run with is Tiger Lily with Kiwi Biker. I don't, I don't know why. I think it's just because you gotta get some high distance. Because you can get like 2 billion points. Aren't you plumbing kidding me? Okay, well. With that being said. By the way, this isn't even maxed out. Can't I max this out? I thought I could. Well, it's close anyway. Uh, luckily, that's not one of the main treasures you need to use. But whatever. Basically, what I'm gonna do for this is. We're back in hard mode for the uh, plumbing uh, stun tournament. Uh, I need to go ahead and run in this. I need to try and get as many points as I can. I need to go ahead and gather as many of these as I can. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to run once with once, run once with each cookie to see how far I can get. And also gathering up points so I, so I can hopefully get more sore techniques. So I think, first of all, we'll start a bit, a little bit low. A uh, little start, oh, well, by low, I mean we're starting off with like our max cookie. I'd say let's start off with a uh, leak cookie. How about that? I do have their costume. Pretty good. Though, uh, I guess we'll just have these treasures on, I guess. Really doesn't matter to me, to be honest. Uh, do we, uh, no wait, we have that, uh, saber anyway. So, let's just go ahead and run this. Uh, basically, since this is hard mode, it basically takes all of the modes and, uh, like, all of the levels that you ran previously. Oh yeah, I forgot, I got a touch because those give more points. So, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And, uh, back to this, back to the lab again. Luckily, you can't see my mouse, so it's not really in the way. It's only kind of in the way for me, but, uh, eh, we're fine. Uh, that reminds me, I feel like I should, like, put some time aside and actually work on a cookie run video that I wanted to do for a little bit of time now. I probably should have used that skill when there was actually, uh, obstacle, like, actual enemies in my way. Which, honestly, if I just sit down and do it, probably could. It's just one of those videos where, like, they're more high effort ones. It's uh, another random breakout challenge video I wanted to make, but I haven't released it in a while. So, uh, if that, if that video ends up looking, like, more odd than anything else, it's because it's kind of out of date. Because I really never spent much time working on it. So that's kind of my bad. But usually those videos take a plenty of while to me. They usually take me like a whole day. Because usually they do have like cuts between them. Like they're a little bit more higher production. Because they're actual like challenge videos. But it's like a part two to an old video. But I gotta like start putting them out at a more constant rate. Because those are fun videos to make. Like I'm being honest, they're, they're fun to make. And I want to do them more. But the thing is... I, I need to find out like more like interesting ways and how I can like utilize them if that makes sense because I don't want to make it like some more Oh, that was bad. I need to double jump during that uh, I guess it didn't matter because like, you know, I just got the skill anyway, but still Not really good. I'm not really doing too good at clicking on them either So that's my great behalf and uh, behalf. I mean what well, my bad What the plum am I even trying to say anymore? I, I want to cut those come on. Let me, let me at least hit the birds. I, 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 I don't even think I hit a bird there. I think those birds are just impenetrable and vulnerable. Anyway, I am kind of upset I didn't get further into the league because, like, oh, that's clean. Uh, I am kind of upset because, like, I, I would like to make it to, like, the next round because I feel like if I did, uh, I would have gotten, like, a good amount of, like, those GCL tokens. However, I, I really need to spend some time just get, like, a bunch of gems just so I can go ahead and, like, buy a bunch of, like, the legendaries, buy the, like, buffs, upgrade, magic candy. The only problem is... If you're a pay-to-win person, that's like, uh, it, it's over for you at that point. Like, basically, if you, like, pay to win at the game, uh, you basically have everything at your disposal so the free-to-play players can suck it. And yes, I don't like, I haven't done everything in this game for free. Like, of course, there's some times where I have dropped some spare money on this game. I'm just saying it's kind of ridiculous that, like, uh, just pay-to-play players have such, like, an easy advantage. Oh, yeah, you can miss them, too, which I feel like it's just better. See, you gotta exactly tap on them, which is kind of tricky, but that's kind of hard for me to do when I swap from uh, mouse to uh, keyboard, then keyboard to mouse. It's a lot more tricky than you expect, but I did get up to eight missions done, which isn't too bad. 
I think they got me a platinum coin, if I'm being honest, so that's good. Uh, I'm pretty sure, because we got, like, over 500 million, so that's got to be worth something. Anyway, clickety-clickety-clack, and we're back in the pack. Mm-hmm. So, claim all this. Okay, some gold and some silver and some platinum. Good. Spend. That's all we get. Uh, movement acquired. Now, let's train and make that into a technique. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, I forgot. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and claim this. Thank you for the gems. Oh, yeah, I forgot I can buy my crystals today. Because it should all be restocked. Yup. Uh, reload me, Captain. Get me everything you got in the store. And yes, this is not a robbery threat. I am just threatening to pay for it all. Mmm. All the coins. All the rainbow jellies. All the plumbing potions. All the potions. Oh, yes, give me this about that. I'm sorry if I'm addicted to this. I just need the, uh, the upgrades and the gains. Anyway, before I do that, let's go over here. Chain one to three movements and complete a new technique. Maybe I'll be able to control my outburst once I learn to perform all the techniques. Let's start training. So all we have is at attack stance. Ah, dagger useless. Went far. We just have a basic beginner strike. All that adds is just 500,000 destruction points, which is, you know, for it being just one thing, not too bad, but uh, we could definitely do better. So now let's go over ahead and swap to uh, one of the more highlighted cookies being Black Cherry, because I know she could do some good damage. So why the plub not? Let me just go ahead and itch my ear real quick, because uh, I swear having an itchy ear is one of the most irritating feelings, because like, it's just, it's just somewhere deep in there. And like, you really try to just go like, eh, get into your plubbing stupid finger, just get it. And no, I don't itch my ears with like a plubbing, uh, what is it, cotton swab? I guess ear swab, but like... I don't do that because I've always heard that they were like, if it goes in too far, uh, but that's not how you're supposed to clean the ear. That was an elegant jump in the Rainbow Bird Like, you missed one, but, like, that was still, like, amazing. Like, you perfectly, like, hoisted yourself right through the path of the Rainbow Bird Jellies, even though you missed one. Like, that's still great. Like, four out of five, I'm not gonna knock you that. That's 80%. Yeah, I, go, I got other Bird Jellies in the meantime, so obviously I'm not gonna knock you up for that. Like, that's just amazing. Okay, so anyway... Uh, I guess while I'm running this, I can tell you about some stuff that's been recently going on. Uh, well, I guess the best way I can describe it is, uh, last night was just plumbing funny. Because, uh, there was a little bit of drama as stuff that happened later on, which I don't want to- That stuff I don't want to dwell onto. However, I do just want to mention that, uh, it was the first time I- w I was in VR chat, obviously, right? But a game I have never played in VR chat was the, uh, the plumbing VR chat Among Us. Let me tell you, that game, especially when you're playing it with friends, it can get so heated, and it can get so funny. Like, you actually do need, like, a solid amount of people to play it. Like, on a technicality, you only need, like, four, but, like, rounds would last so quick. So, like, that's why you should, like, play with at least, like, six people, uh, for my expertise. But, like, so, oh my gosh, did you see that speed? Like, incredible. But, like, you just need, like, a high, like, a good amount of people to actually go ahead and go through everything with. And, uh, usually, you, you also gotta play smart. I would say, like, if you do play with, like... Uh, six to seven, and just play with one imposter. Uh, but if you do play with, like, upwards eight or more, that's when you crank up the imposters to, like, two. Because then rounds might be a little bit more longer than you expect if, uh, literally the imposter has to kill, like, six people. And I know what you're saying. Six, don't you mean seven? Uh, technically not, because, uh, you, really have, you only have to kill six just to, uh, go ahead and just, you know, win. Because the last person, they don't stand a chance. They can't vote you out. It's just gonna be equal the whole time. Anywho... Let's get back to this, and we're already going to be reaching another, hundred, like, 500 million. We're actually adding up the totals. We're basically at a billion points in total so far, which is great. And we have 12 missions done, which is actually not too bad. I will be honest, I'm actually kind of happy with how I handled, like, losing the GCL. Yeah, sure, I'm still talking about it, but, like, I'm just happy, like, how I'm just like, uh, well, I, did, I didn't win. But, like, I got farther than last season, which, if you don't remember last season, that was the lemon cookie, which I couldn't even get past round one. That hurts my ego so bad. To the point where I had to make a post about it on Twitter. I'm not even joking. Anyway, back to this. Blonk, pop that open. Maybe after this I could just play some good old trophy race. Maybe run in that and maybe see if I can get some good stuff going on there. Alright, we got a bunch more gems, which we can get. Oh, is that the defense stance? Might be. Uh, more gems, more gems, and more gems. And we got another special one. We can combine the two. Okay, so we need more gray coins, but we can make some more techniques now. So, uh... Let's go ahead and redo it. Uh, let's attack these, these, defensive attack. Per oh, hey, that's a special force. Uh, how's it going there? And she's just like, perfect for build up stamina. But who uses swords nowadays? Yeah, I understand that you, you, use, you, you would use a gun. And it says 3,000 points for all jellies. Pretty good. 
but I think we could do better. And by that, we could do first this and this. Dagger used one far. Okay, that's actually not too good. But we do it again. We redo it. Use this and this. And who knows? This may be the greatest technique in some timeline somewhere. <laughs> A beginner bear technique. And then uh, Red Pepper's like, making your fundamentals stronger is very important. 10,000 points for all bears. That's better. That is better, but what if we combine all three? Attack stance, defense stance, and double slash. Boom, boom. Like cherry bombs. I should learn this too. <laughs> and it says, beginner cherry technique. It also says, my heart pounds face with your swordsmanship. Wow. One cherry cola bubble jelly is created upon collecting bear jellies. That might seem a lot more useful if we use uh, plumbing uh, cherry cola. I'm just saying, but I do want to use other cookies. So let's go ahead and uh, use Dark Shaco next, I want to say. Because we'll save Pepper and Gino for last because they seem to be the uh, the most highest level. So why the plum not? Uh, but I don't think they can make cherry... Yeah, because I feel like if it was cherry cola cookie, that would be good. But I feel like it would be better to put this one just so we can get bear jellies in general. I don't know. Who the plug messaged me on flipping WhatsApp? <laughs> I'm just gonna turn that down because that was probably ear-piercingly loud, which reminds me, I do need to shut that off. There we go, we're fine. All right, two more runs we can do. This one being Dark Shaka. I have a costume for you that you can wear. It's not the best one, but it's this one that makes you look like you're, you're in your prime. Maybe this isn't your prime, I don't know. But I'm still wearing it too because I like this costume and I wish they did more with it. Anyway, next round. Where this is the third of the four runs that we're doing today. The last one, as I mentioned before, being with Pepper and Chino. And, uh, slash all these plubs. Hup, hup, hup. Which, I don't know why, I do like the sound that, uh, Dark Choco makes when you're just, like, casually, like, running. Because, like, like, hup, hup. Which, to be fair, this isn't the only cookie that does this. I'm pretty sure another cookie is, uh, is it... Is Muscle Cookie? No, I don't think it's Muscle Cookie. But I know there's another cookie that makes a similar noise. Was it? What? It wasn't General Jujubi, was it? Which does make sense, because they kind of paired up with each other. But I know another cookie made the same noise. And of course, I just can't remember. And by the way... What the blow is this sliding sound? Like, what? I'm assuming it's just the sound of, like, a cape rustling up against something or something. But the only jump sound they have is... Hup, hup, which is kind of unique. Imagine if they based, like, a kick around kingdom voice based off, like, how they sound in an oven break with their small little sound effects. Which that does remind me of a short that I need to make. But, uh... That'll be for later. Right now, I'm trying to make this uh, plumbing video, and uh, I want to see if I can get a lot of oven break vid videos done today specifically, because, uh, well, to be honest, I want to, like, stock load on a lot of one thing, then tomorrow I could probably stock load on one of another, which, let's be honest, making kingdom videos recently, it's difficult. And, uh, actually, okay, let's be honest, they're not hard to make, but I'm just saying, in regards to the new story that got released, it's difficult making a video based on stories that revolve around quills. Because guess what? You can only use so many per day, and the moment that you use so many per day, you're basically already, like, out, and, like, you can only make, like, one or, if you're lucky, like, two videos on it before you can just stop, because you just have, like, nothing left to spend. He's got nothing, like, what can, what can you do? Ugh. I don't know, I still got this charge up in me, which I can spend at some point. I'll claim all these. Claim, claim, claim. Oh, all of those! Yeah, all that! Run up all that! That's what we're talking about. And also Dark Choco. Dark Choco is actually really good to use here, even though they're not the primary kick that you should be running with in regards to the leaderboards. But just, you know, slashing the sword whenever you can at these, like, cherry bomb things. Like, they're little cherry bombs. Like, you just, they explode, and they release cherries. That's literally what they do. Can I have my skill activate? Of course you activate when there's no cherry bombs around. Of course I get that game. Thank you very much for your plumbing patronage. Ugh. <sighs> Follow me on Kofi. <laughs> I don't know why, I just mentioned that, and like, Jeez, I'm getting a bad hiccup. What the club just happened right there? Huh? Don't do that again, voice. At least in this recording session. I usually have my plumbing choke-ups, but never plumbing that extent. That's where I'm getting worse by the years. Uh, whatever. You know, I actually saw something that kind of depressed me. I saw this one old video that I posted. It was called, uh, I Can't Stop Laughing. And basically, I remember the video. It's, I found this website where you can recreate the Star Wars intro, but you could actually change the text on, like, the beginning script. And let me tell you, when I first discovered that, like, it was funny, and I just swapped out uh, the whole intro with just a uh, Yankee with no brim. I'm not even joking, that's literally what I did. And I laughed so hard at that, but what made me depressed is that if you hear my laughter in that video, and you hear my laughter now, it never compares. It does not compare at all. I used to be my prime in, in regards to laughing back in the day, but I'm sad that I really can't do that nowadays. But, uh, hey, I'll take the Rainbow Cubes, thank you. 
It's actually pretty good. Claim all of these. See if we get any more skill access. Bam. 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 And, oh. Looks like a new skill, which is, if I can see it, it is a uh, double slash. Okay, so what it, we gotta do a couple combinations here. So if we did that, okay, but he uses though nowadays. Okay, so somehow that doesn't do work. Uh, but what if we did that, that, and then combine these? Try new things to open new doors. Those doors may lead to unexpected doors or unexpected things. Leak blade technique, hello? Uh, those doors may lead to unexpected dangers. I feel young again watching. How do you keep drawing new things? It creates five bamboo leaves each time you destroy an obstacle. 6,000 points for all jellies. Okay, like, do we currently have so all of them, like, discover so far? So far, there's one that we're missing, but I'm pretty sure I'll um, uh, uncover all the sword techniques. I feel like I, I gotta discover what that one is. Like, let's try this. Right on target. This might come in handy while hunting. We got bee cookie. Uh, dagger toss. Okay. Toss daggers to destroy obstacles every three seconds. 50,000 destruction points. And then, um, uh, Raspberry Moose is like, doodling with daggers. I commend your bravery. Of course. Okay, so there's all of them so far. I think I'm probably still gonna put on the Leak Blade, because, you know, it's the only epic one that we have, so it's gonna make it worthwhile. Anyway, let's run with our last cookie being Pepper and Chino, because we do have got a good costume for you, and Scorchpion may not be at max level, but we can still make usage of this, which I should probably clear up my, uh, Surprise Bear Jellies. Yeah, because I got two of these, yada yada. And yada yada. Just cover me in bronze sugar crystals and magic powder. Why don't you? All right. So far, we only have a uh, plumbing C rank. I don't know if Pepper and Cuccino can uh, make any uh, better uses of this. But collect all those. And then collect all these. Good. Nice jump. Nice jump. Uh, then we got to use it at some point, which uh, I'll probably use it once I slide because I can just collect these normally. Uh, it has to be right here. Okay, sure. Why not? Fine, I'll take it. That was... It's a lot of destroyed obstacles right there, I gotta admit. Okay, so definitely use the skill around, like, a good amount of enemies. Like this. Uh, do this. Good. Uh, look at all those. And, uh, this down here. Okay, yeah, that's just a lot. Uh, I'm not sure which one provides more points, the bear jellies or the floating leak jellies. Problem is, there's not much magnetization, so I'm gonna have to run and, like, casually collect them, if that makes sense. Thank you, Scorchbeam, for collecting all those, so I don't have to waste my skill. So, let's keep on going. Uh, I'll just smash you just because. Uh, we can keep on going. Uh... Why not get rid of those? Oh, clear those out. Nice. And then uh, one more for the road, just so I can quickly use the skill usage, because uh, my skill is gonna reset anyway. Uh, get those. Nice. So, yeah. There's I'm, honestly like I wish I could talk about more, but the thing is with how often I like make these playing videos. Oh, did you see how clean that was? That was nice. But like with how often I make the oven break videos, usually like if I'm just commentating on the game, there's not much new that happened in my life. Uh, I pro the thing is, I was gonna say, like, I probably have a doctor appointment coming soon, right? No, my next doctor appointment is in September. Which is kind of shocking how, like, already far we're in, the, like, like, in August. Like, by the time my doctor appointment hits, there's, pro there's already gonna be a new oven break update coming out anyway. And we're gonna be at part two of the plumbing, uh... Oh, I can't get any of those? Come on, I wanna, dr I wanna, I wanna break some stuff. I know I could've sk saved my skill usage, but, like, there's other ports to use that in. Yep, get rid of those. Okay, actually, they're not as useful as I thought because, uh, well, I, they're kind of... The, the skill is more ground-reliant, I must admit. It's a lot more ground-reliant. And while I do have a lot of energy, not much else I can really do with uh, all this power. Because, like I mentioned, ground-reliant can't do much with this. So, I'm just gonna... Like, right here. See, that's perfect. That's beautiful. And do this. That's clean. And then destroy all those. That's plumbing clean as plumb. It works, too. So... Honestly, I, I think my plan is I want to make a couple oven break videos. I also want to make maybe like one or two kingdom videos. I guess it depends. Uh, but like, I want to make a good amount of oven break videos specifically. And then I want to work on the next short because I already have another short in mind. But I feel like I should make a facts video short first about like whoever. Well, at least we got a new high score. That's good. But I do want to make like another facts video just because uh, it's been a little bit since I made one of those. I might do it with a kingdom cookie. Maybe one of like popular demand. Who knows? And maybe one that's recent too. I'm, I might have an idea. Uh, maybe the first time I kind of do like a more newer cookie, but like, don't worry. I'll try I'll still try my hardest to like cover like as many fact videos for the cookies. It's just the reason why I don't do them as often anymore is because like I'm trying to focus on other things and trying to save time for it. But uh, I gotta get those shorts pushed out. Everyone's gotta know about these cookies. Alright, so with that being said, that's done. I think the last thing we can realistically do is just collect all these and see if we can get unlock anything else. I don't think, well, yeah, we definitely won't have enough to like collect everything, but we will have enough to get the next step being uh, another slash thing. 
We can get that, and we don't have enough for the next thing. So I'm gonna have to unlock anything else under my own means. So uh, I think maybe we can get two more. Yeah, we can get two more. So let's try just classic this, this, and this. Double slash, double slash, and cross slash. Wait, there's two called double slash? Sheesh. Uh, technique great somewhere else? Okay, sure. That leads to nothing. Uh, let's try... Uh, we're gonna have to press the redo button a lot. Let's try this, this, and this. Maybe. Dagger useless. Of course. Oh, uh, this is gonna take forever for me to try and discover, hey. Like, come the plub on. Uh, oh, wait, tr maybe cross slash both these? Right on target. I've already seen this before. Come the plub on. I would expect them to do, like... They should, like, put down some hints or something, because let's be honest. Trying to just find out what all these do, it's 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 difficult. Bam, double slash. It's still... Because I don't know if I'm doing the same things or repeating, because this is going to take me, like, minutes to do. I might just end the video right here, because let's be honest. Like... I plugging. Yeah, it has to do with this one at the very least. Maybe I could use this this one stand alone. No. Uh, so that's great. Uh, let's try two more ideas I have. Let's try this, this, and this. All right. Nope, that did not work. Okay, and then let's try. Cool, but this, if I can. Uh, this, this, and this. Freezing and even ice. Freezing. Wait, freezing even ice. What? Advanced blade technique, uh, advanced ice blade. Uh, freezing even ice? What about this technique makes that possible? Can you make it snow so we can build a snowman? I mean, we do get 10% chance to create a frozen flower jelly for 6,000 points for all jellies, which is pretty good. And that was the first one. There's also the second one, which I'm assuming it's something like this, this, and this. Like combined. No, this is the same thing that we literally just did. Uh, unless if it's like, uh, unlike what's on No, but it has to revolve around this one. That's the interesting thing. So, it's just a lot of math you have to think of, because you got to be like, oh, is it this? Is it this? And create. Oh, here we go. Yeah, this is the other new one. Fantastic. It is... Oh, Pepper Machino Kiki's Tempest Dagger. Has tossed daggers that destroy obstacles every three seconds, 300,000 destruction points, and sword dance activated after destroying 50 obstacles. All obstacles destroyed for three seconds. That's a good one. And you have Ice Juggler and Call of Fossing. Amazing. i never seen anyone handle daggers in such a way. Even my skills are better. Using swords to protect others... It may also match the beauty of nature. Of course, Cauliflower. See, that's going to be good to run with, but I'm going to have to run a lot in this just so I can go ahead and get the rest of this. Uh, probably one with, like, I don't know, probably again... Oh, should I? I guess it really doesn't matter who I run with as long as I'm getting the upgrades and it's fine. But with that being said, I'm going to run this off camera so I can try and get the secret missions done. So if you enjoy the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it and also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my cookie run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. And also down below in the description, you'll see links to all of my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the cookie run new to staff absolutely free. There's also a link to my Discord server called the Hype Beast Hub, a link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel, and lastly, a link to my co fever for just one dollar a month you can see exclusive content that you wouldn't normally see in this normal youtube channel but above all else i will see you entities and guardians in the next video hail the hype beast